Hello and welcome. In this video we'll find out what DFI sensors are, where are they, what do they do and how to fix their faults. Have you ever had the problem where your robot is telling you that your waste drawer is full with a blinking blue light, but your waste drawer is actually empty? Stick around and you will know what to do next time you have this problem. First we need to know what the DFI sensors are and what do they do. So remove your bonnet and globe from your little robot, this will make it easier to see underneath the base. Looking at the hole on the base you will find one of the DFI sensors on the left hand side of the hole. This is what tells your robot that your waste drawer is full. This DFI sensor works by flashing an infrared beam across the full length of the dumping hole to another DFI sensor on the right hand side, picking up the infrared beam. If the infrared beam is blocked and doesn't make it to the other sensor, it will tell your little robot that the waste drawer is full. Here you can see that the little robot is in timing and I have blocked the DFI sensors using foam blocks to stop the infrared beam to demonstrate a waste drawer fault. And as you can see the little robot thinks the waste drawer is full, letting us know by flashing a blue light and sending a notification with the connect. The DFI sensors must be cleaned at all times, for dust from your cat's litter can stop the beams from crossing over. Cleaning the DFI sensors is very easy, just use a clean microfiber cloth or a damp cloth and simply but gently wipe the clear plastic of the sensors. One of the most common mistakes that will make the DFI sensors give a waste drawer full fault is the bag that you're using isn't sitting in the drawer properly. If the bag is sitting above the drawer, when you slide the drawer back into the base it will be blocking the DFI sensor stopping the infrared beams that we talked about earlier. How you want the bag is to make sure that it's under the lip of the drawer so when you slide the drawer back into the base there's nothing stopping the DFI sensors. Please let us know if this helped or if your problem still persists in the comments below. If you like subscribe buttons and bells, we have them on our YouTube channel or if you prefer to follow and like, you can do that on our Facebook. From everyone from Cade Evolution, we hope this was helpful in some way. Till next time, stay free and scoop free.